brought it back. Oh. Alan, wake up. Time to put on a little makeup. All right. Hey, guys. Look, it's dark. Hmm. Can't have it too bright either, dude. The light is scary. I don't like the light. The light isn't good for me. Okay. Hold myself a big cup of coffee. That's good stuff, man. That's good stuff. Okay. So where were we at? We are at the old folks home, right? Ah, there's so much light that we were fucking hell, man. The only light I really like is the sun, but she... Uh, she, she be gone. <laughs> okay. So, we gotta find Angel's Remorse, the album, you know. Old Gods of Oscar and shit. Search Cynthia's room and go to nursing home basement. So, we were... We we were about to search uh, Cynthia's room, right? And then the power went out, and Arti came and told us to go. Uh, Arti, 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 Arti came and told us to go to the basement. So that's what we are going to do right now, right? To the basement, yo. By the way, I'm sorry about those three minute episodes I put up. I figured better put them up than not put them up, but I could have edited them now into another one, but we're just throwing this up raw without no editing. It's supposed to be like a yeah, a long play where you see everything I do, right and wrong. It's not a walkthrough or anything. So. Basement though. We gotta go outside. Or. <clears throat> but this is. The lock. Is this the locked gate or is this the other gate? I need something ah. to cut this. Crap a doodle do. It's the wrong one. Wheelchair. This is open though. Oh, and now we go. Shit's starting to get creepy right as we get over here. Basement, dude. The oh, hell are they Oh, that's cool. The old lady. I missed. <laughs> Jesus, dude. What a this year. I'm bad at fighting. Andy May? Norman? I don't know. I, don't, I hope not. Everyone's on about the dare fest all the time. Murder! Happening, hello. Holy shit, dude. God. Yo. Uh, basement. Um. I'm guessing the basement in this building, right? Or am I, uh. Okay. Maybe not. 
I don't see any basement entrance. Is it inside? Did I did I check here though? There we go, dude. Le basement. Hmm. Get some power back on, dude. I wonder what's what's down here. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyways, I hope you have a whoa good day today. By the way. If you've been here before, it's great to see you again. You're always welcome here. Whoa! Shit. Cynthia, fuck. She's down, is she I down there? Power back on. I do. I do need to get the power back on, y'all. Key fob's no good without power. They are not. So much uh, old gods of Ascal shit flying around. <laughs> Hail to the gods! The old gods. That is. I need this. The boom arm. Can I have this boom arm? A microphone stand? I don't want a microphone stand actually. I want a boom arm. This game is so good dude. It, it goes from like totally fucking chill or whatever. To fucking mayhem. To chill. <laughs> it's, a, it's like a roller coaster ride yo. Just like me. I was trying to tell you something, but never mind. Buy more fuses, many more, crappy old equipment, keep blowing them. That fucking Russian dude. Just wanted to recruit uh, Barry struggles. Barry's struggles with artists. Come on, tell us, Alan. Wheeler used to be the agent of a manic depressive celebrity writer, Alan Wake. Wake had various addictions on his back. And Not just me. Death hmm. wish. Wheeler had seen a thing or two. Wheeler paid a lot of money for a good shrink. Got himself convinced that all the nightmares he'd seen leading up to Wake drowning himself were just his imagination. PTSD. Now we had pills to keep the shadows from his sleep. Hills. But the Andersons were something else. The nightmares were starting to creep in again. Or maybe it was the drugs in the air. Wheeler hoped it was the drugs. The Andersons were so old. Vampires. After every gig in the party that followed, it took them weeks to bounce back. <laughs> and they never did. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Just because they were it's old, time I guess. Wheeler expected them to croak. I hope. <laughs> All right. Do a little save, I guess. Then. I really hope you enjoy this, Doko. Uh, Fuse is blown. I'm. Uh, it's been Maybe a while since I made videos. And I haven't streamed since like 2020. <laughs> so, um, and English is not my native language. So it takes a little while to get back into it, right? And it's a bit hard to f always fill the empty space with gibber jabber or talking. But we'll, hopefully, we will get there, right? We will get there. Alright, so, uh, we need a fuse, dude. Can't be opened on this side. No, can't. Or is this, like, some fire, uh... Wait, there she goes. Saga doesn't... Saga doesn't fuck around! She, uh... She got shit to do, yo. I'm not taken. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. 
Who was that, Matthew? Come on, dude. Play Elwood's bug. Emmett Elwood had had enough. All his life, he'd been surrounded by the same small-minded, impolite, ignorant people in town. Their endless gossip, their nose-picking, chewing food with their mouths open, not washing their hands after visiting the restroom, touching things, uh, touching. Uh, don't touch my shit. Going to hell. He'd watch day after day how all the nice things in life in Bright Falls were spoiled and ruined forever. There would be a just and terrible reckoning. Emmett yeah. had imagined many times how we'd make them pay. He had lovingly tended his anger, made it grow hotter. It was out in the open now. Ugly and slobbering, they reached at him with their unwashed hands. He beat them down, beat them until they no longer moved. And then he'd wash his hands with a strong antibacterial disinfectant. All right, Emmett doesn't like bacteria, so shit. But I gotta, can we just uh, hold up? Wait a minute, yo. Uh, I bet when I see his fucking face, uh, I know who it is. Emmett. Emmett Elwood, right? No, wait. Emmett. I don't think he was in the first one, actually. It's an old man. Blah 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 blah. Let's see. Nope. Don't think we ever have. Uh... I think this might be the first time we he hear about Emmett. Dude. If you watch this and I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments if you want to. So I do not like to spread misinformation. Um, we gotta go in. In here? Creepy crawling going on there. It's a sound though. It's a sound. And it's flooded. It's flooded, guys. House of Sane, renowned filmmaker, establishes artist commune in Bright Falls. Thomas Sane, born Thomas Susaina in Finland. Finland, my bad. Almost said it in my language. And his partner, Barbara Jagger, born Baba Jackala in Finland, have recently established an artist commune here in Bright Falls. Mr. Sane has purchased the old manor house outside town and the couple has already settled in. In his home country and internationally as well, Mr. Sane is well known and respected is a well known and respected auteur filmmaker. A rising star already compared to the likes of Stanley Kubrick and Ingmar Bergman. Or as he was a Ingmar Bergman. His earlier film Nightless Night won a number of European film awards. Can, maybe? I don't know. Mr. Sane is currently in the process of filming a feature entitled Tom the Poet. In conversation, Mr. Sane comes across as a charismatic figure with big dreams. He talks about building a hotel and a film studio in the area. He even has a name picked out for the hotel. Ocean View? Hotel? This reporter believes the name has a nice ring to it. Mr. Sane's dreams would certainly make Bright Falls a household name if it became reality. Oh my damn chair, dude. Uh, members of the commune clearly feel the same. Seeing Sane as a person worth uh, revering, even to a faintly cult-like degree, a person who guides his flock to expand their consciousness and reach a higher state of artistic inspiration with the aid of magic mushrooms. Perhaps. While the Bright Falls record does not condone uh, the use of illegal drugs, we hope Mr. Sane will help put our town on the artistic map. Hmm. Hmm. 
We know drugs and drugs, but we want what we can get from you anyways. Oh! Didn't even think about that. And we got a lock. Let's just check this though. Cynthia Weaver had always kept her lantern close. Someone <clears throat> in the bathroom with her. In the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. So, I kind of liked Cynthia. Uh, do you think we can get her back or do you think we just have to fuck her up? I'm guessing fuck her up, but... Since they are corrupted. Cynthia Weaver hated being old. Oh? She'd been a doer. A fighter. Yeah, that's true. Now the bathroom frightened her. Afraid she'd break her hip. Like Norman. Cynthia had always kept her lantern close. Norman broke his hip? the darkness at bay. Oh dear. Yes, he did. My lantern. I think I've lost it, Cynthia said. This mm. will put a smile back on your face, my dear. A voice said. A man's voice. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. The light bulb had blown. She meant to replace it days ago. How could she forget? She had slipped getting out of the tub. She lay in the tub now. She lifted her hand. It looked wrong. Too many hands. In a black void with no sense of up or down. She was underwater. A dark shape pushed her down. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. It came out of bubbles. Usually does when you're on the wall like this. Can't argue with that shit, dude. I'm not gonna fight her down here, though, right? That's. Code is 273. What the fuck, man? Rose, if you see this, please remind the residents to leave my stuff alone. I think they hate me. VB. That guy again. Russian dude. 273, dude. Right. That's not a lunchbox, yo. Okay. Pop goes the weasel. The fuse. All right. Movie time, I guess, right? The power's off. He was a boy without a brain. That's why he couldn't go insane. He was a boy. Without a brain, yeah. Did someone put a duck down her? What? What the hell was that? That was a. Uh... Disturbing noise, dude. There. Power's back on. So move it on, right? We also got that door we can open now. There she is, dude. Cynthia, chill. Please.
Is this something they watch on movie night? That looks just like Casey. What the hell is going on? Jotta on jo. Jo. Oh, it's this one again. Jotta. Jo. Jo. Kullossa. <laughs> so she got to see someone at... Okay. Right, let's... Keep going. Didn't we turn the power back on? This is the door that was... Locked. No. It's this one, right? It doesn't budge. Ach, they keep stealing them. Holy fuck. Dude. Maybe we should turn the volume down a bit, because that's what gets me. Holy shit fuck, dude. Here it is. That fucking door. You got Rose's key to keys. Jesus fucking Christ on a stick. Games. I love them. Arrows. I don't know if I needed to pick those up. To be honest, I have a fucking shit ton. That's not my work. Is this uh, VB or whatever? Oh shit, dude! A knife right like this. straight into his fucking eye, dude! <laughs> oh my god, man! Okay, nice and slow. <clears throat> Is that him though? VB. Gotta go get his rifle too, but then we need a fucking doorknob, dude. Excuse me, taken. No record yet. We need to find a record. Rec record. It was too late. It was too late. Okay. If you say so. It was yeah.
I don't want to go down and check on Odin. God. Don't slam the door. Adam? Was Cynthia into civil engineering? <laughs> mm. She was at the dam. The dark presence uses people's memories, their fears to corrupt them. I went down to the basement today to check the lights. I can't trust Blum to do it, that's Weeby, right? I think he's dead down there. But I'm not sure though. He's too slow, but it's getting harder and harder for me to reach them. I can't keep up much longer. Tom's lamp is gone. That's the one Alan has, and I have uh, Saga has the clicker for it. The switch. The lamp with the angel on it. He always loved that lamp. It disappeared from my room. The darkness is here after all these years. It took Tom's lamp. I know it did. The lights are going out more and more. There's no one left to stop it. I can't do it on my own. Not anymore. I have nothing left of Tom now. I don't know what I'm going to do. I need Tom's lamp back. I need Tom back. The shadows are moving. There is no more light. No more lamps. I can't find my way out of the room. Someone locked the door. Did I lock it? Maybe Tom did. He probably did it to keep me safe. He is such a considerate man. Barbara doesn't deserve him. Tom could do so much better. Where did Tom's lamp go? I used to have it. I guess he took it back. That's fine. It was his after all. The shadows are moving. Did I write that? Nonsense. There are no shadows. It's just us. Tom and I. Forever. Well, we actually got some profiling to do. On Cynthia. About Thomas Sane. Cynthia was close to someone named Thomas Sane. Yeah. Who is he? Tom was back. Tom had enemies. In a fancy hotel. Just his imagination. A nightmare started to creep in. Cynthia Weaver smiled. An old flame. Maybe Tom was taken. Maybe Tom was taken. Right. So, Cynthia. Cynthia, Cynthia, Cynthia. An entry from Cynthia's journal, she was afraid, hearing whispers. Uh, where do we put this though? On the, okay, somewhere here. Cynthia's fears made her vulnerable. Vul, 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 vulnerable. Vul. That's how she became a taken. Vulnerable. Fuck that world, dude. For later, everything is for later, dude. Right. Right, let's see. We gotta go to the bathtub. A power station? Mm hmm. Everyone needs a hobby, I guess. Tom? A lantern? Yep. Was Cynthia using it for protection? Mm hmm. Did Think she so. know about the dark presence? Yeah. I feel like I'm missing some context here. The safe room or whatever, the light room, what, right? I'm guessing the woman in this photograph was not Cynthia's favorite. That's Barbara or whatever. God, me and buttons, dude. All right. Shit ton of fuses, dude. Okay, let's get rid of this fucking darkness thing. Uh. 
Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. <laughs> he had it coming. Why did he do that, though? Cynthia and Tom, dude. Cynthia Weaver smiled. Lost without her lantern? Nonsense. Cynthia felt as giddy as a young girl in love. Cynthia had loved Thomas Zane. Tom only had eyes for Barbara. Barbara was bad news. Tom had seen it in the end. Cynthia had been there to comfort him. And when he left, Cynthia waited. Years of waiting. Now Tom had come back to her. They'd be together now. See the world. She'd always dreamed of seeing New York. They were there now in a fancy hotel. She drew a bath. She would become like Barbara. No. Better. She sank into dark water. Into Tom. Tom had enemies plotting against him. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor. Always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Anything for Tom. <clears throat> right. On that note, though. I'm out of here, okay? Uh, we're gonna... First thing in next episode. Check that bathtub, dude. Okay. Again, thank you for being here and watching. Thank you if you like. Thank you and welcome if you subscribe. And again, have a great fucking day. Okay? Night or whatever it is for you. Goodbye.